Tensions are running high in the hip-hop world as former Flames Chris Sean and Blue face yet another turbulent chapter in their on-again, off-again romance. Just when it seemed they had reconciled before Blue's incarceration, whispers on the street hint at a brewing storm. Apparently, Krishan has been shouldering the financial burden of supporting Blue and his family during his time behind bars. Her resentment has boiled over, with accusations that Jaden, Blue's former associate, played a role in draining his resources dry. Krishan's jealousy over Jaden's thriving success while Blue languishes in jail has only added fuel to the fire. But the plot thickens. Some speculate that Blue's motivation for reuniting with Krishan stemmed from his dire financial straits, leaving him dependent on her support. With his impending release on the horizon, the stage is set for a dramatic showdown. And if that weren't enough drama, Krishan, Blue's on and off partner, has issued an ultimatum that would make even the bravest soul tremble. She's made it crystal clear. One more act of infidelity from Blue, and she'll unleash a punishment so severe it could leave him permanently, shall we say, incapacitated in the romance department. The hip-hop world waits with bated breath to see how this tangled web of love, money, and power will unfold. Buckle up, folks, because this saga is far from over. I already told you, it ain't only mine when you get home. I'm cutting it off and feeding it to his dog, Batman. And then I'm dipping, and then I'm never looking back. You got one more last chance with me, and I got one more last chance with him. So that's that. Everybody else that keep popping it and popping it with all that negativity, take it somewhere else. While Jaden has moved on, embracing a new relationship with a loving partner, Krishan finds herself trapped in a vicious cycle of toxicity with Blue. Despite the disrespect, violence, and questioning of her abilities as a mother, she remains bound to him, even after his incarceration. Recently, Krishan took to Instagram Live her anguish palpable as she poured out her heart about the relentless stress Blue has inflicted upon her, even from behind bars. This outpouring came on the heels of Blue unfollowing her on social media and deleting the video commemorating her face tattoo of his mugshot, a symbolic gesture that cut deep. The root of their latest conflict? A seemingly innocuous misunderstanding, twisted by Blue's poisonous jealousy. Chris Sean revealed that after attending a party, she returned to Blue's residence, not to betray his trust, but to check on their son, Chris Sean Jr. However, Blue's toxic insecurities led him to accuse her of infidelity, sparking yet another tumultuous episode in their tumultuous saga. As Chris Sean laid bare the emotional turmoil, her words served as a poignant reminder of the cyclical nature of toxic relationships. While Jaden has found solace in a healthy, loving partnership, Chris Sean remains ensnared, her loyalty tested time and again by the man who should cherish her the most. The hip-hop world watches with bated breath, wondering if this will be the breaking point that finally frees Krishan from Blue's toxic grasp, or if the chains of love and loyalty will bind her indefinitely to a life of heartache and turmoil. Blue calls me this morning and he's like, what do you say? I'm so like, when I do go out, I do be like wanting to just cut loose and just be myself, you feel me? So, so when I did that yesterday, he, he like, well, so you went out and you didn't go home. And I'm just like, babe, I got drunk and I did go home. I went to where my son was at. Like I could have went home and just left my son with, uh, you know, the babysitter and he would have been fine. So I, but I just wanted to go straight to my son. And then not like that, that's my house. Like, you know, like I have another house. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just be over here. Went to sleep, woke up, you know, stuff like that. Long story short, he calls me, he asks me about my whereabouts, I tell him. He's like, well, you, you're supposed to go home. I said, hey, can you just stop all that other shit? Well, you went out and da 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 you know how I, I know how you are, but babe, okay. I had too many drinks, like, nobody's cheating. He's still fucking hairy as growing. Like, this shit is, I can braid this shit that's on my, like, I'm holding you down, bro. I'm being here for him. Like, you know, like, I love you, you love me. We, we, we wanna work things out. Try this whole different atmosphere, cool, that's great. I'm all down for it. So then, we're on the phone and we're, he keeps talking about, so why didn't you go home? I was like, I told him why. He's like, well, well, he kept trying to like argue with me and I was just like, bro, you, bro. 
Like, what are you arguing with me for? I went outside. Whoa, whoa, da, 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 da. bro, I'm not cheating on you. Like, not like that, but like, we're grown. Man. Like, if you outside, when he used to go outside, cool. When I used to do my little dirt, cool. it wasn't cool, right? We are, no, it's just his feelings was hurt because I hung up on him. I hung up on him and I was just like, I didn't care what he wanted to say. And it was only because I'm just frustrated as a, as a mom right now. Like, you know, like, look, I put myself through a lot of things in this relationship. I sacrificed a lot, my identity pretty much. While she was venting about Blue, she also revealed some surprising details about his current financial situation. It turns out Blue is completely broke. Krishan disclosed that she has been supporting him financially ever since he was incarcerated because he no longer has any money to care for himself or his family. According to Krishan, she has been covering his court fees from the beginning of the trial and paying the $115,000 rent for his restaurant. Additionally, she has been managing other household expenses while he's been away. Can you believe it? It's clear she feels a strong sense of loyalty to Blue, but given everything he's put her through, he seems like the last person she should be helping. Two, I took the initiative to what? So you don't have to call Bobo or Wack or any of these people to be in your business, get your account situated, or I don't know, spend money on this. Like, I got you, cool. I got you, cool. And it, we're not talking about Oh, a couple hundred dollars. We're talking about thousands of dollars. We're talking about your lawyer fees. We're talking about um, the restaurant that's not open. Well, the building, yes, it's getting remade inside, whatever, but you still have to pay rent every month. I've been paying that since he's been locked up. That ain't no... But it's 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 fifteen thousand every so I pay every two months. So I pay two months whole. Seven 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 hundred and six hundred something plus woo woo times two. I just say fifteen. Like cause it's like a sketchy number that he say, Oh pay this and I'm just like, why can't you just go to the nearest hundred? It's like awkward. So long story short, every two months I'm giving 15,000 for rent for his restaurant. Like, I'm offering, I'm, I'm, I'm willingly doing that. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to ask. I'm willingly doing that. Krishan also criticized Blue for turning their situation into an internet spectacle and for unfollowing her on Instagram. She stated that she genuinely doesn't care if he follows her or not. She added that if he was so upset about her living her own life, he should have voiced his concerns before she paid his rent. I'll be like, Fuck you. When I said Fuck you, he wanted to delete off his page, unfollow me. I don't care, that's not... You should have did that before I paid your rent, you know? It seems the root of Blue's reunion with Krishan just before his incarceration stemmed from financial desperation. With his former partner, Jaden, having firmly moved on, taking their shared home and cutting off his access to resources, Blue found himself in dire straits. Rumors swirled that he clung to Krishan as a lifeline, knowing she possessed the means to support him during his impending jail sentence. The situation took an even more dramatic turn when Blue's mother, Carlissa, attempted to shift blame onto Jaden and Krishan for her son's legal woes. In a thinly veiled attempt at emotional manipulation, she prayed publicly for understanding, insinuating the two women led Blue astray. However, Jaden swiftly shut down the narrative, imploring Carlissa to shut the F up and own up to Blue's choices. As Krishan now finds herself shouldering Blue's financial burdens, regret seems to be setting in. Her candid social media outpourings expose the toll this situation has taken, both emotionally and fiscally. The court of public opinion is divided, with some labeling her a sucker for enabling Blue's behavior, while others question the wisdom of airing such personal grievances. The burning question remains, was Jaden truly the catalyst for Blue's financial ruin, or did his own actions pave the path to his current predicament? As the drama continues to unfold, 
It serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of toxic relationships and the consequences of enabling destructive behavior. Only time will tell if Krishan will find the strength to break free from this vicious cycle, or if Blue's grip on her heart and finances will remain unshakable, even from behind bars.